what is going on today people in today's video i'm going to be installing this emacs servo here it's an analog one it's not digital it's an analog servo i've seen a lot of people use them online i do have the coda racing steering links <clears throat> they are aluminum same as the links that i use for the vehicle they're aluminum so it looks pretty cool it looks pretty strong and decent here and i also have this 3d print servo housing from a good buddy of mine who uh, 3d printed for me so this is going to go on to here all right to begin the installation of the new servo here i am going to have to be taking the possibly the shock mounts here and also the linkage obviously here but i'm gonna start taking off this body let's take a quick look at it inside so what I'm going to do is disconnect the servo here, and then I'm gonna start taking the shock mount off. Give me a little toolbox right here. Oops. We're gonna disconnect the servo here. And what I'm gonna do is go ahead and take out this shock mount. So that's gonna allow me to kind of lift this up so I can see better. So what we are gonna to have to do is the drive shaft part's gonna to have to come off like so. And we're gonna have to take out the linkage here from the Y linkage, the bolt there. And then the two bolts up front. And I'll have to take out this linkage bolt too. So this screw is oriented for this housing there we go so this is the servo here I'm going to go ahead and take this out here actually I don't need to since I'm replacing it all anyways right okay so this is a servo but I'll, I'll go ahead and take it off the steering linkage here This is the original servo. So the reason why I'm replacing mine, I've seen a lot of people on YouTube as well, and also my hobby shop I've been to was uh, told me to go ahead and up, upgrade it because eventually mine's gonna give out. And then with the weight that I'm adding, especially to the front, it is starting to have issues turning. So it doesn't really turn very well. Uh, but the motor, st the, the servo's still good but I'm just gonna prevent it from actually happening, especially if I'm out trailing. Okay, so this one is actually on this side here. The screw. Turn the wheel a little bit, there we go. I know some people go with the HR Racing uh, aluminum servo housing just my buddy told me he's like i'm gonna print them out so i told him sure man check it out let's look at them so i'm gonna go ahead and see how that goes so i did take out this long bolt here from the y link you are gonna have to take out the two bolts from the front diff and that's what's holding this housing so there are these long bolts so don't make sure don't lose them or misplace them unless you have extras now i can take this out here so let's take a quick look so what i have here is the stock servo mount and then i have the 3d print mount so it's slightly bigger and that is to allow 
the Emacs servo to fit. So opening this up in the package, never opened it. Never done one of these before, so. This is your servo, which will mount like so. Oh nice, look at that. Perfect fit. The holes line up and everything, so I can probably screw that in right now. But let's look at this. So this is a servo. And as you can see, there's a difference. The Hemax uh, um, servo here. You can see the size difference. So this servo is pretty big, beefy. Okay. And make sure you, you have the orientation of how this goes. So mine goes installed like this. You don't want to install it upside down like this. So you want your linkage downwards. Okay for the Emacs, so you saw the differences there. Also in the Emacs package, you get a lot of little accessories here into what to install it with. So I am going to possibly use this one here, this arm here, so that goes in like so, but before we even install this, we wanna center out our steering. So to do that, we actually have to connect it here. We are just checking the servo here and making sure it zeroes up, but before I do that, I'm actually gonna install it. So, I'm gonna go ahead and put it onto the new one, new mount here. And I'm going to use the factory screws. Okay, so now once that's in, what I can go ahead and do is, I can mount this. So I'm gonna go ahead and just let it run out. I mount this now on the differential. And then I can slip in the new screw, the uh, differential screws in. Hopefully they're lined up. So let's go ahead and look at it like this. Alrighty, perfect. So that's there. So one thing that we do got to do, like I said, is needs to zero out. So we're going to go ahead and connect this in the yellow wire. When you see this goes into the steering STR, but the yellow wire goes upwards, zero it out and disconnect this now. So now what I'm going to do is I'm going to go ahead and install my arm for the steering. So I'm gonna try to get it in as center as possible. There we go. So that one seems okay. Okay, now what we're gonna go into is the, the steering. So I'm going to go ahead and just open this up here, the steering linkages. So this is the steering linkage that goes here. I'm going to mock it up. And then this one is the nice aftermarket one that links here, like so. If we look at this pitman arm here, this one, it is, I mean, it's the same. I can, I can link it in, but it's kind of long. So what I'm gonna do is go ahead and look at this one. So yeah, this one looks better, shorter. So I'm gonna go ahead and cut this. This arm is actually gonna, gonna connect here now. So now we got to install the arm here. 
Now we're going to install this arm here. So I'm going to choose this screw right here. So that's nice. That's in. Now we gotta do is mount this back onto the servo, like so. Oops, turn this off, turn this off. And then now install this to the diff. All right, that's in. That is in now. Okay, so the next thing I'm gonna do before I install the, the drive shaft back on is I need to install this screw here to make sure it does not escape me. Just snugging it on there, make sure it's just snug on good. Go ahead and take out the actual steering linkage. Oops. Okay, so that comes off so off the knuckle on both sides. All right, so let's look at this linkage. Let me move this stuff out of the way. Let's go go here. Let's go go here. These extra parts go here. Okay, so as you can see. This is actually roughly the same size. The only thing is this is super flimsy and the coat erasing one is aluminum, full piece aluminum. So it's really strong. So this will be really good to handle, uh, especially when you hit a rock, if you do through the front, you know, it, it's, it's really thick. So this is going to be a very good piece. Um, for the front for resistance and also for some structural structure sturdiness all right so let's go ahead and and position this one here which is going to be go ahead and put the screw through the provided screw okay that's in so lastly, we need to connect this here to this one here. So with the provided screw, we are going to connect it. So I'm going to go ahead and lift this a little bit. There we go. All right. So the front end is now now on it's front end the uh, steering linkage is on the aluminum one put the y arm in i'm gonna move these cables out of the way for now so i can go ahead and see it boom here we go so now i'm going to go ahead and screw in See if I can get it in. Get the drive shaft on. Awesome. There we go. Now it's nice and aligned. All right. So lastly, we got to install the shocks back on the shock tower. And there you have it. You've installed a servo and the steering linkages. I'm gonna do a little test here with with the body up, of course. Turn it on. Turn this on. I like it. So I was struggling already up in the uh, up in the mount, little mountain paths that we've been trailing on. So let me go ahead and close this up. See if I can align this here. It's one of them. Let me see. This is having trouble here. Uh. 
put the hood pins back on real quick and put the hood pins are there okay so well that does it for today's video so what we did was we installed the servo as a recap remember there's a little recap we installed a new analog servo from Emacs and we installed some Coda Racing steering linkages. Okay, we made, made it more sturdy. And with that, as we can see, let me turn this on real quick. Um, we have better, better steering now, stronger steering. So that's a very, very good thing there. So I'm excited to test this out. If you like what you saw today in today's video, even if you don't subscribe, you can give me a like. If you do subscribe, that would help me out even more. But please, like the video if you watched it at least, or even a couple seconds. Um, if you can give me a thumbs up, I'd really appreciate it. It'll help me out, motivate me more to continue on uh, to keep building and start other projects, other RC projects. Again, this is the first time that I ever done uh, work on RC cars, so it's like a hobby of mine, but I do work on, you know, cars. But this this is so this is fun actually. I really enjoy what I'm doing with it. So again, please subscribe, like, comment what what kind of RC car you like. What are what are your favorite type of RC cars? You know, start a conversation. Don't be shy. Alright everyone? Peace.